Hello, 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 everybody. So we are making the, we're gonna do keto, low carb, feta pasta. So I didn't wanna do it live with you guys earlier because I wasn't sure I was gonna like it. And I wanted to make sure that I was gonna like it, that the family was gonna like it, that it was actually gonna turn out the way I wanted it to. Um, so here we are. Um, so we already, the boys are um, each, Ricky just got home a little bit ago. So the boys are each having some right now and I already had some earlier, so. It turned out really good. The only thing that I would say was it needs um, like a little bit of spice to it. Like it needs a spicierness to it. Um, so what we did was we just put a little bit of sriracha on it. But I mean like this pan was full and now there's just that much. Like maybe a bowl left. So... I'm gonna show you guys again here how to do it. Hey, Cassandra. You okay, mean? so as you guys hop on, say hey. Let me know where you're coming in from. How was your Saturday? Share this out to friends, family, keto groups, low carb groups, pasta feta groups. I don't even care. Um, but share it out because this is, it's actually really, really good. And I was super, super ecstatic that it worked. Um, so. We're gonna take some tomatoes. Um, I just got these ones. The, well, actually this is the lid from the other one. So you can just get regular grape tomatoes, but I kinda like the splash of color that the mixed tomatoes get give you, which I am not using as many tomatoes this time because I used them all last time. So you're gonna take your tomatoes, you're gonna put them in your dish. I did add an, a little bit of extra olive, or excuse me, avocado oil um, on them by themselves. And then I did, oh, Gabby, will you grab me the um, garlic out of there? Will you grab the garlic out of there, please? Where are the strawberry cups? Can you, oh, garlic, the minced garlic? Yes, please. Good Lord. So, I, you can put in whole, um, garlic or you can do the minced garlic. I just did the minced garlic with the last ones and it turned out really good. So if you have whole garlic, you can put that in and roast the whole garlic. I don't have any. So we're doing minced and I like the minced garlic. So we're going to just mix it up a little bit. You can use some um, oregano. You can do, I did my zesty garlic seasoning. You could do really whatever kind of seasoning you want to. And then you just take your feta. This, this feta I got at Costco. I always have the minced garlic from Costco in the fridge. Yes, right? It's snowing in Prince George. Oh no. Yikes. Okay, so um, I got this chunk feta. It came two, two of these to a package. I got it at Costco. So I used half of this package for that one and then now the other half for this one. So if you got this double package at Costco, it technically makes enough for four dishes like this, which is awesome because I think it was only like 10 bucks. Um, so you could do four pasta dishes with it. So we're going to take the pasta, the feta cheese. We're going to put a little bit more avocado oil on the top. We're going to do a little pink salt. I'm going to actually put a little bit of ooh, Italian seasoning on it. There you go. You 
just put it in the oven like this at 400 degrees. My oven's not quite there yet, but it's at 380. So you're gonna put it in the oven for four at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. When it comes out, you use a spatula or a fork or whatever you want, and you can crush up the tomatoes a little bit. They're already gonna be burst, but you can push, you know, push them down a little bit more. And then mix up the feta in with all of the tomatoes. And then here is, is this still wet? Here is where the pasta part comes in. So you can use palmini noodles. If you've ever used palmini noodles, I don't think I have any right this very second, but um, they come in a can. Um, I don't have any. They come in a can. You can use those ones. Um, those are really good. But I tried it this time with these healthy noodles from Costco. Um, these ones come in a box and it comes with six of these bags. So earlier today when I did this one, um, I opened three bags thinking that was going to be enough and it was actually too much. So I used about half of what I rinsed. So now we're gonna use the other half in the new pasta that's coming out. So it comes sealed in this bag with water on it. I dumped it into a colander and I put it in the sink and I just rinsed it with warm water and just kind of did one of these things to it, right? And these literally don't taste like anything. So they're gonna pick up whatever flavor you give them. They're just these, if it'll stop bouncing, these noodles, they look like this. And they don't, like I said, they don't taste like anything. So they pick up the taste of whatever you put them in. Um, and so, can I see the one? So the one I made is cold now because I made it earlier but I can show you here, I'll warm it up. So, we'll just use up the rest of what's in this thing. It smells so good. Like when it's baking, you're like, oh my gosh, it's so yummy. All right. So this, oops, this is what it looks like. It's cold, so let me warm it up. And keep in mind, I use um, I used the different colored tomatoes, the heirloom tomatoes or whatever you want to call them in the variety pack of little cherry tomatoes. That's what I used for, for the cherry tomatoes. That's why it has all those pops of color. It was just at Costco, now I gotta go back. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, you might be able to get, are you talking about the noodles? You might be able to get them other places. It's just uh, Costco's where I get them just because you get six in that box. Um, but like I said, the one thing that I would change um, or that I add once it comes out is I just add a little bit of sriracha because I think it needs like a spice to it. And so, but you could add a little bit of extra like um, cheese, like maybe Parmesan or something like that. Can you see it? So this is what it, Is that it does not look appetizing in this picture but I promise you it's good so I just add a little bit of sriracha mix it in and then you've got these nice chunks of tomato and this really cheesy sauce And it's super good. <laughs> anyway. So.
So when the pasta comes out, when the tomatoes and the feta come out, um, you can toss this in just like it is now. And these noodles are so thin, it the sauce will warm the noodles right up. Um, or you can just rinse it in some more warm water to get the noodles warmer. Um, but then once those come out, you put your noodles in there, mix it all together, and you're good to go. Like literally dinner in 30 minutes and it's feta tomato pasta yumminess, right? So it's super, super easy. You can totally do it low carb keto. And um, yeah, you could totally do it for Lent. No meat Fridays for 40 days. Heck yeah. You could totally do it. It's no meat. Can you do it with the feta though? You can, right? It's just cheese. Anyways, but that's it guys. Super, super, super simple. Like literally 30 minutes and you're done. Um, have that with a side salad. Perfect dinner and so easy and you can get all that stuff at Costco like literally you can get the box of healthy noodles the thing of feta and the tomatoes and you have enough for at least four dinners at least four dinners out of that one box of healthy noodles a thing of tomatoes well you'd probably have to get two two things of tomatoes um yeah you'd have to have two full things of tomatoes um, but two things of tomatoes, that double pack of feta cheese, a box of healthy noodles, and you're good to go for four dinners, y'all. Like, that's like a no brainer. Plus a side salad. I mean, like, that's super, super simple. So anyway, um, that is a TikTok trend that we totally can make keto and we are good to go. Me and kids are making your strawberry fat bombs from Friday. Can't wait to try it. How's yours? Oh, you guys want to see them? Um, Logan, will you go grab the fat bombs out of the fridge? Or out of the freezer? They're on the top. On the very top in a pan. So, um, I just cut out like a square of them last night. And it was super good. Um... So I definitely, I definitely like the clean version of those keto fat bombs um, because it turned out so good. So it's been freezing this whole time. Ooh, that is cold. But that's, ooh, that's what it looks like. So... Can you see it? Why is it blowing it out like that? Come on. There we go. So they turned out amazing. The great thing about these being frozen is you can decide if you're going to keep them frozen if you want to eat them like that. Or you can decide to um, oh, maybe cut them first. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't get it out. Anyway, so cut them up. I'll probably have to let them thaw a little bit. Um, but you can cut them up. And the great thing about it is you can eat them like semi-frozen. Or you can microwave them a little bit. And it's almost like having strawberry um, ice cream. You know, because I'm not one, that person that likes to like let their ice cream melt a little bit. And then mix it and make it all creamy. This would be perfect for that. So super 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 good i love the little bits of chocolate in it and so it turned out really good fat bomb fudge yeah 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 this turned out really good so anyway thanks for hanging out i hope you guys all had an awesome saturday you guys are ready to go for sunday um come back and see me i miss seeing you make those i'm gonna have to go watch it yes um I made it with fresh strawberries. It was so, so, so good. Like I made strawberries with a little bit of monk fruit in my ninja, in my Nutribullet. And I used that instead of the pudding um, in the mix. So good. So anyways, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hopping on. Come join me again tomorrow. 
I don't think I need to go grocery shopping for anything, so we'll just cook something tomorrow. But anyway, I will see you guys later. Bye!